Welcome to the Workplace Minute, powered by H3HR Advisors and sponsored by Paychex, one of the leading providers of HR, payroll, retirement, and software solutions for businesses of all sizes. My name is Steve Bowes. How Bucky's connects compensation to employee and business success. I've been on several long driving road trips in the last few years, and one of the highlights of many of those trips was when the first Bucky's billboard was spotted along the side of the highway. For those who may not be familiar with Bucky's, it is a regional chain of travel centers that has become known for its expansive size and the wide variety of products available in its stores, their impossibly clean and well equipped restroom facilities, and increasingly for their somewhat astounding employee compensation programs. At a time when only a limited number of states and cities have pay transparency laws in place, most Bucky's proudly display the pay offered for the various jobs at the travel centers. Job listings posted recently for a, na- a newly announced Bucky's store location in Amarillo, Texas, indicate that Bucky's is hiring for roles including a grocery manager for $31 an hour, all the way up to an assistant general manager for the store at a $125,000 annual salary. But if you want a job at Bucky's, you'll face from steep competition for the jobs. Jobs at these stores with higher than prevailing wages attract hundreds, if not thousands, of applicants. And the average Bucky's location has about 250 employees and up. It's not just the hourly rate of pay that the compensation plan is very generous, said the general counsel for Bucky's in a recent interview, but it actually goes all the way up to incentives for people to make a career there, and that's reflected in how general managers can make $225,000 plus in salary. The Texas based travel center chain is flush with applicants for jobs across the board. Trend that's a reflection of the promise of high pay and industry leading benefits, which include a 401k with a 6% match, three weeks of paid time off, as well as medical, dental, and vision benefits. Bucky's now includes 45 locations across seven states, with more on the way. How is Bucky's able to offer such comparatively high pay and benefits for their 12,000 employees, and a number that will only grow as the retail chain expands? Well, it's mainly due to their compensation philosophy and the results that are seen when employees are engaged in their work and are dedicated to create great customer experiences. Bucky's spokesperson said that, think when you have the best employees, you're able to offer the best customer service and the best experience to your customers. And when you do that, they come back. Think that's why we're able to offer such high wages because we have a very loyal customer base that appreciates the high quality experience that they get. For a decade or more, Bucky's has paid above market wages. Back in 2012, when the Fight for 15 movement started, which has seen retail employees and other workers pushing states to raise minimum wages, all that employers for paying low wages, Bucky's far surpassed those demands, as well as federal and local minimum wage requirements. In Texas, for example, the minimum wage is still $7.25 an hour, but at Bucky's, the lowest an employee can be paid is $18 an hour. The role that's especially critical for Bucky's is the janitorial staff, those employees responsible for the chain's famous, and I can personally attest to this, incredibly clean restroom facilities. In the new Amarillo location, for example, the cleaning and maintenance manager job is currently listed at $25 an hour. When you look at what Bucky's really values and where they want to differentiate, it is in their clean restrooms. And to deliver that, the chain needs employees who are enthusiastic about the award winning cleanliness that they have in the restrooms which means paying the needed wages to help deliver in that difficult job. Bucky's willingness to put the resources and investments in people reflects how they value the service and what keeps customers happy in returning to the stores. In a time of almost relentless corporate cost-cutting and so-called year of efficiency statements being issued by CEOs, it's refreshing to see how one large employer sees making larger investments in people as the key to ongoing success and future growth. I'm looking forward to getting back on the road soon to stop in at a Bucky's myself. That's it for the Workplace Minute, powered by H3HR Advisors.